What is going on guys, Adam here at What The Foot EA. So we're gonna be reviewing Freddie Youngberg's base hero card today. Now he's coming in with medium, medium work rates and four star, four star. He was one of my favorite players on the previous FIFA, especially his World Cup version. It was much better than the standard version. Um, I can't remember, if we, we got the, um, the Trophy Titans one as well, um, but I didn't notice a big difference in that. So one of the keys of this card is you can play left or right mid. It really helps to get him into your team. He's fantastic on the wings. He's fantastic up front as well. So his stats here kind of look like a bit of a lie compared to when you use him. His dribbling feels much better than the stats suggest. He feels much faster than the stats suggest. And I don't think it's because of his height. He's 5'9". Um, so he's not the biggest. But he's got some really good stats. Really well-rounded. He's decent, guys. So we're going to be reviewing him fully today. Giving him a good go in rivals. I'm in division five or four at the moment, so it's not D division ten. Uh, and we have got some good play styles on him here. Now the chip shot one, I think, is a waste of time. Travella, he didn't attempt to single Travella for me, unfortunately, even though I tried. But we've got other ones. We've got rapid. We've got incisive pass. We've got ping pass. He's, he's decent, guys. So you'll see from these shots here. There's plenty of different types of goals. Plenty of different types of efforts. Plenty of different types of assists. He's absolutely incredible. He feels so fast and he seems to have luck on his side the whole time. So things that I've never noticed happen to any other player happen to him. So you know, I remember when the icons first came out and they all seemed to... We used to say that they would glide across the pitch, they didn't run. And we used to say that they had some sort of hidden stats for luck and where the ball bounced and how they hit the ball and things like that. And this young Berg really does feel like that compared to some of the other players, much higher rated than him. And so you can see there how responsive he was, just a nice bit of uh, Drake st uh, stick dribbling, <laughs> Drake stibbling, I nearly said that, that was a good one. I'll definitely leave that in there for you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see how responsive he is. He's absolutely fantastic. One of the most responsive dribblers I've found in the game. Um, and he just, he, his strength doesn't even seem to come into either. Like, he's, he's very weak on his stats. But he doesn't get bowled over or anything by any of the big lads. Look at that turn, the defender stands no chance and that perfect pass. Making Kanu look good here, guys. Yeah, as you can see, uh, he was really uh, putting Kanu to work in this team when he was with me. Um, he was really good though, guys. Um, I'm quite surprised at how well he actually worked out. His stats didn't suggest he was going to be very good. Um, as I say, I went into it hopeful that he would be as good as he was last year, but I didn't think that would be the case. But he's fantastic. And one thing that I did with him that I don't regret at all is when I was struggling in a game and my striker wasn't performing, I'll put Youngberg up top, either as a two or as a one on his own, and he he got the business done, guys. He really did. Uh, he managed to get through on goal more often than most players that I've, I've used before. Uh, his pace and his dribbling made him almost impossible to stop when he got one-on-one -on -one with a defender. Um, it was really good, guys. Really, really good. Look at that run. Look at that run. And there's the look I'm telling you about. A nice little chip shot. And yeah, we do have the chip playstyle plus. Um, no, we don't. We've just got the normal chip playstyle, haven't we? Um, which usually doesn't affect anything. But it was it did, it did something then. We got the look on that. And look at this one. That's what I'm talking about with the look, guys. Late on in the game as well. That guy won't have been impressed. They finished this really 
So here's my little review of him. Um, all my reviews will come with this feature at the end to make it nice and easy to read for you. Um, we've already discussed most of the things with the card. But he's got 4 star overall rating for me, 4 star fun rating. These are out of 5 stars obviously. 3 stars for value. I think he's a little bit too expensive at the moment. Maybe when he comes down to around 40k. Uh, I don't think there are any similar cards on the game at the moment. Not that I've used anyway. You know, you can compare some stats and they might look similar, but they don't play similar. Um, so we've got 8 out of 10 for passing for me, 8 out of 10 for finishing. 7 for physical, you would expect maybe that would be a bit lower with the size of him. But no, 7 for physical. 8 for dribbling could have been a 9, it was borderline 9. And 7 for meta, which most people won't expect him to be quite a meta player, but he is. So he played 14 games, got 11 goals, 5 assists, and an average rating of 7.8 on those games. He was decent, guys. Give him a try. Arsenal fan, Sweden fan, give him a go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.